Hi, Chris Eager, Guns.com. Welcome back to Select Fire, where we talk about gunsmiths, shops, and shooting. On this episode of Select Fire, we're in Columbia, South Carolina to visit the FN factory and see how the world's most battle-proven firearms are made. Our tour guide at the FN factory in Columbia was Scott Fisher, Vice President of Operations. As with many employees at FN, Scott is a veteran. I was stationed at Fort Bragg in the mid-90s when the Army adopted the M240 Bravo machine gun. Gotcha. And so we turned in our M60s, we got filled with the M240Bs. It was a wonderful gun. We, we loved the product. The military contract to build the U.S. version of the FN Mag 58, the M240 machine gun, in 1981, was what originally brought the company to South Carolina. Your M240, your FN Mag 58, probably the most popular machine gun in the Western world. You see it everywhere, something like 50 or 60 different countries use it. This is about as freedom rich as you can get, where you can listen and hear an eagle in the distance. FN employs lots of veterans. They bring their passion and hands-on experience to the products. Harry Taylor, an assembly technician for the 240 program. Back in 1976, when I first joined the Army, we had the M60. Then we converged over to the M40, which is a much superior weapon. Even when we went to Saudi Arabia, the M240 outperformed any of the weapons that were over there. The 240, to me, is, is superior to any uh, 7.62 weapon that had ever been made. FN produces over 300 M240s every month. Of course, prior to making the M240, FN had a rich history of producing firearms in the town of Herstal in Belgium, which is still active today. FN Herstal, or Fabrique Nationale de Armes de Guerre, was formed in 1889. Originally, they manufactured 150,000 Mauser bolt-action rifles for the Belgian government. Less than a decade later, American firearms genius John Moses Browning traveled to Belgium to begin a long collaboration with FN. The resulting relationship yielded some revolutionary designs, including the high-power pistol and the Auto 5, the first mass-produced semi-automatic shotgun. In the 1920s, FN began manufacturing another of Browning firearms, the iconic Browning Automatic Rifle, or BAR. J.P. Ricanu, rifle product manager at FN and in-house history buff. FN has a, a very good connection with John Moses Browning. As a matter of fact, uh, a lot of this product, product that they designed uh, while in Herstal, are still produced today. In 1953, FN manufactured another famous rifle, the FAL or it's more commonly referred to as the right arm of the free world. FN sold over two million FALs. It's a little wonder that it happens to be JP's favorite FN model. What makes the FAL design such a, a great design when it comes to a military firearm? It is uh, very durable. It is, uh, the design due to the tilting bolt is extremely reliable. So the gun is uh, definitely built to exacting standards. The FAL was followed by the M240, which as I mentioned, is the reason why FN opened a factory in South Carolina in the first place. The success of the 240 program and the desire to constantly innovate led to the development of other iconic weapon systems platforms. This included the M249 saw, the P90, the FN57, the FN15, and one of my personal favorites, the SCAR. So what do we have going on here? So we are in our SCAR machining area here. So we're making SCAR receivers on these machines. So you could say this is where a SCAR is born. This is definitely where a SCAR is born. You're not gonna see this anywhere else. No, no, not in the US. The SCAR is an excellent example of a weapon system developed by FN for the military that went on to be very successful on the commercial market. Ben Voss, rifle product manager. As soon as the government or the military picks up any rifle and gives it a mark designation, an M designation, it automatically will have quite a bit of commercial appeal as well as law enforcement appeal because those customers realize that the vetting of the system is done by the military and we certainly realize that over the last 11 years the SCAR rifles have been in the market we simply can't make enough of them to keep up with demand in the market. As you walk around the 200,000 square foot factory FN proudly displays their weapons and specially made cases for everyone including their 500 plus employees to see. We do like to display our products it's really just a uh display of how much pride we take in what we do here. Maurice Cummings, barrel chamber machinist. A lot of pride. A lot of pride. I've been here 22 years and I, and I hope to retire here shortly, but uh, 
it's a lot of pride. I, I pass out the booklets, like I said, and everybody I tell, hey, come on down to FN, take a tour and check it out. You know, we have fathers and sons working 20 feet from each other. We have husband and wives working in the same shop. There's definitely a lot of tight connections here. FN has been a very, very good company to work for. If it wasn't, I would think I'd be here for 38 years. And uh, when I get ready to retire in fact, January, it's going to be very difficult to leave. We do hire a lot locally. Um, we're always looking to hire more skilled employees. You know, right now we're trying to hire machinists. Of course, FN is known for their rifles, but they also have an amazing array of pistols, everything from the FNX to the 509s, the midsize. Uh, a lot of good stuff going on in here. So we make uh, the pistol slides here in this machining cell, and we start with uh, just you know, raw material, stainless steel, and in the cell we'll take it from that solid steel bar and turn it into a full finished pistol slide. We make absolutely no difference whether it's a military product or a commercial product. We apply the same quality standards, the same manufacturing processes in order to get the best weapon systems and the high quality that we are known for. FN makes approximately 200,000 barrels every year for their firearms. It's all done in-house to exacting standards. We make the barrels through two different methods of putting rifling in. We either hammer forge barrels or we button them. But they all start off the same. We start off with the raw material. So we, we bring in the raw material, it's just a solid steel bar. And then from there, every barrel we make has to get gun drilled. And then we'll finish off the gun drill with either reaming or honing. And then we go into the rifling process, which is into the, either the hammer forge or the button process. So essentially what they're doing is they're taking this, and in the end, they're turning it into this. After a barrel is drilled and rifled, it's finished, and some of them are chrome for extra resistance protection. You can't hit targets if you got junk, and, and you may pay cheaper prices, you got quality issues. Precision and, and, and quality is always top of the line for FN. Now, for my favorite part of the tour, the firing range. FN tests all of their guns on site. They go through roughly 5 million rounds each and every year. They also fire a proof round through every single gun. Proof test is really just firing a high pressure round through the gun, typically at about a 30% higher pressure than a standard round. One of the most fascinating parts of the tour was the final step for military M4A1 rifles. FN makes roughly 500 M4s every single day. After they're test fired, they're disassembled, cleaned, then reassembled and given a 101 point inspection. Then, they're literally dipped in a preservation oil and packaged 50 rifles to a large wooden crate. This stuff is good for 75 years. You go and you put it in a warehouse, you know, World War III, World War IV, World War V, you know, pull it out, load that 5.56 five, in there, rock and roll. Great, great grandkids. How many of these do you ship out every month? Uh, so right now we're running 7,000 M4s a month, so that's 140 crates like this every month. 140 of these crates every month? Yeah, just for M4s. Good deal. So all I gotta do is just get one of these sent to my house. So I think it's safe to say that between its military contracts and consumer offerings, the future of FN in the United States looks very bright. Guns.com had a fantastic time touring the factory, and we hope you enjoyed it as well. Guns.com offers many FN products on our site. We invite you to shop with confidence, knowing that you'll get top quality products from FN and excellent service from Guns.com. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Select Fire. Be sure to check out Guns.com for all your FN needs. And until then, we'll see you next time.